we haven't done a lot of videos in the last week. It's just been kind of been a crazy week with weather and a few breakdowns. Uh, it's Saturday morning right now. Me and Tips here up here on the log yard. She's gonna lay down in the dirt. That way, when she'll be good and dirty when she comes in the house later. But the uh, log yard's kind of. I don't want to say it's looking bare. We've we've hauled out about four or five loads this week for for a better oak and walnut down there. Uh, that's all that's left. About a about a half a ten wheeler and pup load. Uh, got all of our blocking stacked up. Of course, this is just the pallet and tie material. Just kind of your. I, I hate to say you know your your trash your junk logs. It's definitely not that because it's you know they've got some value, but nothing like that other stuff's got. But uh, kind of a, there's a lot of sixes in here, which this is the first time in my life I've ever sold six foot logs. And it's just, uh, it's just pallet logs. A lot of it's sycamore. And the good thing about the sixes was uh, some of that sycamore tapers so bad. It was a good way to pick up a lot of extra overrun by making them into sixes. Now, granted, I can't just cut the whole pile into sixes because they wouldn't want to see that, but they are... Uh, it's a good deal to be able to send some of those sixes in there. And, uh, yesterday, to show you how bored I've been with the weather and stuff, I went and bought a new weed eater. Of course, it's a steel. Uh, I don't know much about weed eaters. That's not really my forte, but I uh, tried it out a little bit yesterday. Going to try it out again this morning. Of course, if you look on the back here, we got a new main line set in there. I had a new main line, some chokers come in this week. That's for one of our cable skidders. Need to thread it back up. Need to try to move some iron around. And got uh, moved uh, one of our grapple skidders this week, our 548D that's usually up at Rockville. We got it moved to a job here north of Stockton to try to mud out some logs. That's probably what's going to happen there because it's, you know, the next five days are calling for rain chances. And it, it rained this morning, but just kind of enough to settle the dust because it's still kind of still kind of powdery so we're not uh we're not getting our hopes up too high about uh, work this week we're gonna try to get some timber knocked out we've needed to look at which even this afternoon i'm supposed to have a load of logs being delivered right now in the yard i've i've got to where i'm buying i don't want to say a lot of logs on the yard that people haul in but uh I am buying several logs. People will kind of cut just, and they'll they'll bring them into the yard just a handful at a time, and I'll I'll try to buy them just to just to help them out and do what I can because it's it's definitely not a profitable deal, but it's it's nice to kind of help fill in the void and bring some logs into the yard. So I'm waiting on a load of logs right now coming in from down around Springfield, and we're actually going to look at some timber this afternoon on the lake. Uh, down around the greenfield area on the south end of the lake of course it's not core property obviously but and then we got a little track to look at uh down actually in springfield a couple city lots in springfield to look at and springfield's kind of a you never know what to expect down there it, it could be a, it could be some thumpers or it could be nothing springfield's kind of a it's a crapshoot it's usually the one or the other it's either big timber or scrub what? Shake hands with me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to fire up this weed eater. Try it out a little bit. Because that's, like I said, that's how bored I am. And here in a minute, I've got some logs I need to trim up. We'll get them trimmed. Of course, my end trimmings, I'm kind of getting thrifty. I'm trying not to let anything go to waste. So my end trimmings, uh, I've got a little cousin that likes to cut and sell firewood. So... A lot of those end trimmings we're saving back and I'm putting them in a separate pile on down the yard here and uh, he'll he'll bust them into into firewood and later this fall and winter he'll sell that stuff but it's a good way to to bring a lot of that stuff in and that way we can at least kind of utilize it instead of having a waste pile and I need to spread some gravel I've got some more more gravel for the yard I was telling dad this morning at coffee of course you can see we're I've kind of started to gravel this. Of course, I use just a small road rock, and that's why it's not taking so well. But I've I've widened this out from what it originally was, and I've got a couple more loads of gravel coming in. But this here's got kind of a more of a slope to it, so I think I've got a 20 tons of two-inch gravel down there. I think I'll put my two-inch in here, 
kind of where it's flatter, I'll put more of my road rock in here. But it, uh, it's nice to kind of widen it out. I'd kind of like to gravel a lot more of this to where it's easier to turn trucks around in here. And of course, more of a solid area for loading and unloading logs. Just kind of a work in progress. Things like that are never really done. And uh, to cap today's video, I might throw in a clip from that I took last week of doing something or other. I've, usually every day I start to take clips of, of videos of work, but uh, not every day do I make a video because some days I think the content's just terrible or ridiculous or stupid. Anyway, uh, that's it. I uh, appreciate a lot of you guys checking in. It's good to see and hear from you. I said I know the last week we really haven't put much out, much content. Hopefully this week will be a little better. We can get some interesting things going. I think tomorrow Brandon and I might try to do a little work on uh, the Mac. I'm kind of getting pumped up about building a log truck. It's kind of, I don't know, I've kind of got a, a fire in me, so now I'm kind of switching gears there. I think that's definitely going to be my big project for this fall and winter is to get a, get a good truck put together. So, uh, just one step at a time, especially in the summertime, you know, logging in the summer is terrible anyway because it's hot and miserable. And like right now, it's it's so wet and flooding. We're having a hard time getting into a lot of places we've got on the books. So just kind of get by in the summer and in the fall and winter when we can get back to work and working good long days, pumping out timber, just kind of tackle a lot of your projects in. Let's try the old steel 94R out. I usually try to cut a few, then I'll drag when it's hot like this. Just kind of, I can still get stuff done, but I don't work myself to death. Usually about a tank of gas, and I'll drag them out, fill back up, cut another tank. Just try to cut two bigger truckloads a day right now, which, working alone, that's... That's a pretty good feed. You know, Dad's hauling. And that's nice and bad. You can haul along and get them back to the yard. For the most part, you know, cutting this bigger timber, I can, I can pretty much keep up with a pinwheeler. Especially when I've already got a head start like we do. But we're kind of coming to the, the closing days of this job. I'm cutting over here in this today just because the wings are broke. Kind of getting this stuff on top. The main thing is to keep, even when something's broke, if you can keep pushing along and get something done, uh, that, that's pretty important. My dad told me one thing years ago, and I know I've talked about it before, but the guy needs to make a little money every day. You don't have to make a lot, but you need to make a little. So, even though it's Sunday, and I'm probably going to go to the lake later with some friends, which I never go to the lake. But this morning, I'm trying to get some logs cut, get some, get some wood moved. I'm not going to work myself to death, but we're going to move some wood. We're, we're going to make a little money. Then tomorrow, being Monday, we'll go back to really trying to move wood.
unless you've done it, unless you do it, people don't understand what you don't mind. There's just something about cutting timber, you know, seeing those big trees fall when you're on the business end of a song. Uh, just like I said, there's, there's nothing in this world like it. When it's addictive, the worst thing someone can ever do is get into cutting timber. Chances are, once you get into it, it sticks with you and it ain't going to leave you. I didn't ever have a chance, you know, being born and raised around it. I pretty much knew my whole life that's what I wanted to do. And I like to think, well, when I'm out here, I'm kind of living my dream. to our channel for all of our latest videos.